Yeah, I drew the short straw. Actually, I, we, we were going to be drawing uh, 18650 batteries out of his uh, bike battery, and whichever one explodes on you, they're, they're, they're the ones that have to come here and do a video. So what I got here, I got, uh, I got no parts. That's an issue. I know these need parts. Uh, well, I'll solve that when we get to it. Hi! This desk is really tall. This chair is really short. <laughs> I feel like a little kid here. Okay, um... What do we got? We got, we got some board repairs. Uh, got a MacBook Air. Uh, MacBook Air that came in with uh, no backlight. And uh, first red flag is this here. What do I have? I have overhead. I have overhead. That's overhead. Somebody ripped off the uh, coating off of the bar and replaced it with some captain tape. And this is some kind of um, some kind of warranty mark from some other. I don't know. I don't know if they replaced the whole screen or if that's a warranty of some from some other shop. But yeah, screws in the wrong place. Uh, screen changed and uh, no backlight. So. Let's uh, delve into this and see what's going on. So, first things first, I see some uh, picking at the fuse. So I think somebody broke something and didn't want to admit it. Uh, let's check that fuse. So, that's the backlight fuse, and uh, we have open line. So I need a fuse, we know that, but let's just inspect things before we go into that farther. So yeah, I see some scratching around here. Somebody didn't know how to take out a LVDS connector. Whenever anybody works on their computer, comes from another shop or anything, always look for things that have been knocked off. People don't realize that these boards are um, kind of delicate. They're, they're not delicate when they're inside the machine, although apples themselves are pretty delicate. But when you get it outside of the machine and you're touching these things, the, these little little uh, resistors and stuff, they, they can be knocked off by somebody's nail pretty easily. So just take a look through the more sensitive areas, especially around here. See these little, these little diodes that are just hanging out in the breeze there? They, they come off so easy if you just nick this on the edge of a desk or something. So that's always a good idea. Just look around, make sure everything looks okay. See a little bit of corrosion right there. We could hit that with a uh, Q-tip. After looking at boards for years, you get used to what components are supposed to look like and what corrosion looks like. Like some people would say, oh, look, there, there's corrosion right there. No, that's just fuzz. Oh, look. There's some some corrosion underneath the backlight driver. Oh, corrosion under the backlight driver. New screen, still don't have backlight. Hmm. So either the customer or another shop had a computer with no backlight and they just put a new screen in, and then they were upset that it didn't fix. I bet you that's the story. Seen it more times than one. So let me run over to my desk and I'll get parts for this. I need a LP8550, and I need a backlight fuse, which I will uh, go get from store.rossmancroup.com, and I'll be right back store.rossmangroup.com for all your electronic needs. I'm back from store.rossmangroup.com. Got my store.rossmangroup.com right here. These are my parts from my desk. This is stuff that I change on a daily basis. I always keep spares with me. So there we got some LP8550s. I'll need one of them. And I am out of fuses. I have no more fuses. So now I actually have to go to the real store.rossmangroup.com and get some fuses. One moment, please. I'm back from store.rossmangroup.com 
with my backlight fuse. So yeah, I'm terrible at reading chat. So uh, <laughs> every once in a while I will look over there. I never understood how Lewis can actually sit here and read chat and work all at the same time. Never can do it. Tweezers, flux, flux, who's got the flux? Who's got a needle for flux? No needle on the flux. So I had to use a Lewis amount of flux because I don't have a needle for the flux. <laughs> 12 gauge wire will work fine for the fuse. I should, we have 12 gauge wire around here. I should put a piece of 12 gauge wire next to the fuse just to show how comical that comment is. They so got way more flux than we need. Let's preheat the board around the area a little bit. And we'll get in there right on that LP8550. Hot air station is on full and full as always. And take some fresh solder. Oh god, this tip isn't that gross. Much better. Some fresh solder onto there. And I have no fume extraction. Now I have fume extraction. Okay. Wick, wick, who's got the wick? That donation sound scared me. Do the minions deserve dead fishes today? Uh, eh, yeah, probably. It's been a productive day. Christopher Kelly, that's you that sends the uh, sushi? That's some good stuff. Uh, I, I may keep meaning to look at what restaurant that is, because that's some really good sushi. Q-tips, Q-tips, who's got the Q-tips? Can't find anything on the station. I would love to just transport all of this audio video gear over to my station, because I know where things are. There's the Q-tips. Ew, they're the pointy ones. Ew. Ooh la la, fancy Q-tips. Okay, pads are cleaned. Nothing looks messed up. This, this one right here, this is the feedback. This is where um, backlight is coming back into the chip so that it can see what it's actually producing. This one gets destroyed quite often. It doesn't even have to have liquid sometimes. Just moisture in the air can destroy this one just because of its proximity to other, other voltages and ground and the voltage that's on it. And then these two up here take a hit when it, from liquid damage all the time. This is the incoming voltage. And let me go get a syringe for, or a needle for Lewis's syringe, because that's just ridiculous. Your opinions on commenting on the PATH trains. I don't take PATH. I take New Jersey Transit. And uh, most of the time it's pretty good. Sometimes it sucks. I don't think they did enough to protect the ridership from COVID. Their official stance was that 50% of the trains, they will um, occupy to 50% capacity, which means they have a 10 car train, they only allow five cars open. So how is that 50%? So you're only giving us 50% space for the same amount of people that would be there anyway. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, now I have a nice clean flux with a real syringe needle on it. Now, 
one ball of flux. Try to align it, then we take our tweezers, push down a little bit. Kind of scrub it around, it, it'll stay just on its pads if you get it right. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to keep a little bit of pressure on it while I start heating. And melt it into place. it into place, make it dance a little bit. There you go. Clean up as we go. Now we could deal with the fuse. Yes, I sent the dead fish's place is called Bondi Sushi. It's at the corner of 5th and 28th. Ooh, cool. Hi from Texas. Yeah, you're cold down there, aren't you? That's crazy what's going on in Texas. Is it all over with yet? How, how is Texas? I, I never follow the news. I only get news secondhand. Somebody posts something or something like that. That's the only time I see news. So let's add a little bit of fresh solder. It'll make the fuse come off easier. So now with a little bit of leaded solder into this lead free. That'll be the first thing to melt. So that'll come off before anything else even gets hot enough to melt. I want to angle my air away from the, uh, this is the Wi-Fi card and the connector there. It's all plastic on the inside. You got to keep your air angled away from that. Ah, it was 70 today. All right. We got a bit of a heat wave that came in, too. It was like 43 today, I think it was. It was better than it has been, but... I don't even think all winter we had uh, weather like what Texas just had. You guys were down in like the teens and stuff for a while. We didn't have much of that at all, all winter long. And we're damn close enough to the frozen north. Got a new fuse. This is one of the only fuses in MacBook that actually does its job. Let me see if I got a 12 gauge wire. I know Lewis has wire laying around here. There you go. Let's let's change it. Let's just uh, run a wire over the fuse. So we'll just put this this wire over the yeah and that wire could go right over the fuse right i'll just solder that solder the wire right over the fuse instead yeah no now what i'm worried about with this next is that it has this change screen in it so 
So I don't know if the screen was what caused this issue. So let me plug the screen into it and then we'll check and see if the screen is still shorting it or anything like that. Every time Erica's yelling, oh my gosh, for the donation sound, it kind of startles me. It's funny. <laughs> we have love teens. We're actually negative six, negative 14. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we didn't have anywhere near that in New Jersey or New York. Maybe upstate New York. Maybe like the Lakes area or something like that. This is the first year in a while we've had a lot of snow. And regrettably, I haven't been out skiing yet. Okay, I don't need anything to test backlight except that. I'll put this anyway. Yeah, just testing backlight, I don't need a... Uh, Oh wow, they broke that. Brand new screen, they broke this. Yeah, the bar just came off. And fixed. Let's see if we have uh, a short backlight output. Still on orange, yep. Good. And the backlight output. Let's test it from there. Yeah, that's just charging capacitors. That is not shorted. What's it like working for Lewis? This, eh, honestly, is probably my second best job I've ever had. My favorite job I ever had, I was working for Lucent Technologies as a uh, communications technician. That was a really good job. That was some fun times, that was good work. That was a, one of those old fashioned companies that you know had a union and benefits and all that stuff going on. You don't find that anymore. Even if, we're, even if you do get hired by one of those old companies like AT&T, you don't get the benefits. This charger is atrocious. The pins aren't even coming out. I don't even know where this charger goes. Is this power supply? The power supply is not on. Power supply is on? I don't know this power supply. The power supply is controlled by that, isn't it? No. Pushing output does not do anything on this power supply. It's probably because it's connected to the computer is there a computer power supply? And we have a green light, and we have fan spin. Oh, question mark folder, there we go. Somebody probably did screw something up, either that or that LP8550 that I saw a little bit of corrosion on screwed up the whole works at the beginning, and they just changed the screen thinking that was the problem. Oh, that one's done.